So being a digital scrapbooker, you're probably going to be needing to make some basic selections one way or another. Um, so let's talk, let's talk about basic selections. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to open up a background first. So let's just have this background here. It was just a picture I took of our fence with my camera and it's probably a pretty good resolution because it came from my good camera and I also shot it at a high quality. Let's open up another really easy selection here. Now this little guy, he is going to be easy because he's got a white background. It's really, really white. So he should be pretty easy. We could use a bunch of different selections with this little guy, but let's just talk about a few of them. So if you come over here to the left hand side, you'll see where it says view and then select. These are our selection tools. So one is the move tool. So we can move this little guy, drag him and drop him into our page. Now we're having them side by side. If you don't see that your photos are side by side and you have a hard time uh, making them side by side, you might need to go into edit and preferences and general. And we talked about this in the beginning class, but you might not have seen that. You want to make sure that you have, uh, let's see, which one is it? Allow floating documents in expert mode checked and that will allow you to float your documents, and I love doing that. So right now we just use that move tool that is considered a selection tool, or you could come in here and you could use the rectangle tool, which we just talked about a little bit before in the um, section and segment before. So you could use this tool. Right now it has a 58% um, feather on it, but we're gonna take that down to zero. And maybe I just want a chunk of this. That's another way to select. I can go back and get my move tool, drag it and drop it into my page. So there's another way. I'm going to deselect. So I'm going to go select and deselect. Or you can go control D and that will deselect that selection. Here's another selection, which is the elliptical marquee tool. So see down here, elliptical marquee. I can come in here and I'm, I can make a selection as in a circle. If I hold down the shift key, it will constrain it to a perfect circle. So let's just deselect here. If I click on this shift key, click and drag, that will make it a perfect circle. If I release that shift key, then I can make it an oval or an elliptical shape. So there's another way. So I'm going to get my move tool, drag, drop. Okay. I'm going to deselect, select, and deselect. That needs to be deselected over here. Then there's another selection method, which is called the polygon lasso or just the regular lasso tool. See, you can toggle between all of these by hitting the L on your keyboard. See in the bottom left-hand corner where I have the palette or the um, properties box dialog there. So there's different lassos tools here. We've got the magnetic, we have the polygon, and we have the regular lasso. Now, I think these are a little hard to control, but you can kind of play around with them and see what you think. For this particular one, we're not gonna use it right now, but that is uh, one that you might be using in the future. We also have the quick selection tool right here. See the quick selection tool? Now, this one might work out pretty good because there is such a solid white background. So if I use this quick selection tool, I can come in here and click and drag in the areas that I want to select. See how it made a really nice selection there? And you see all the marching ants there? So let's go to move, drag, drop that selection. So that was a pretty easy one. Now we're really not talking about the eraser tool, but there's another way that you could possibly do this. Let me just deselect over here. So see down here where it says the draw? we have eraser tools. So there's magic eraser, there's the regular, and then here's the magic eraser. Now the magic eraser would probably work pretty good on here because it could just take away all the white. So if I come out on this um, area here and I click somewhere within the white, let's see here, I don't think it's taking it. Maybe it's because it's not on the right layer. Yeah, we were not on the right layer, so let's get to the right layer first. What I'm trying to do is find the layer that has the block on it. There we go. So here's that layer. So now I have my magic eraser tool. I clicked in the white area and that will get rid of all of the white. Now it has to be a solid 
Um, well, not necessarily, but it works best when there's a solid. So that's another way you could do that. But let's jump back up into our selection tools because that's kind of what we're talking about, the basic selection tools. So I'm going to get rid of this little ducky. I'm not going to save him. I'm just going to go back in and try another photo. So let's just take this one here. Okay, so if we were to use our lasso tool or the quick selection tool, which might be the best, you click inside the area that you want to select. See how I'm dragging around? Now if I want to get the black to as um, a selection as well, I'd have to kind of venture off and get inside that black too. So you might zoom in a little bit. It might be a little bit easier for you to obtain that black. But look here where the beak, it went over. So now I have to subtract that. So I can use my Alt key to subtract from that and just click and drag and then release the Alt key. Then I can go get my Move tool. Let's put it side by side. Drag and drop it. So there's another selection method. These are a little bit hard to get used to, so you have to practice them. I'm going to go File and Open. Let's try this one. Let's just say we wanted to select part of him. So I'm going to take my quick selection tool, drag around him. Now this is going to be a bit, a bit harder. For the more intricate selections, we have a section inside of the advanced area that you can go to, but I'd rather you watch the rest of this video first so that you get an idea of more of the basic things. Then I hold my Alt key down to deselect part of it. It's a really bad selection. We probably need the Refine tool, but we're not going to do that. Then I'm going to go in and get my Move tool, drag and drop him into my page, and there he is. Terrible selection, but I do want you to get used to trying to make some selections with just these basic tools for now. Here's more of a circle selection. So if you go in, you get your circle elliptical. You can start it from the very center by holding the shift and the alt key down at the same time. That will start the circle from the center. This may not be the best one to go with. I'm going to go a little bit higher because I didn't go perfectly in the circle. Then I'm going to take my move tools, my actual my um, up and down arrows on my keyboard to kind of nudge it into place. See how it's moving down now? And maybe I move it to the left a little bit. It's not the perfect selection, but it's not bad. Okay, so bring it on in. And now I have a selection that is the circle selection. So practice around with these four selections. Actually, there's really three, but then there's more within each one of them. And just play around with the regular lasso tool and the elliptical rectangle and the elliptical marquee tools down here. You can also play around with the feathering and such, but just get familiar with some of these selection tools. Don't use them just yet. Just know that they're there. After you're done with the intermediate classes, move on to the advanced ones and take a look at the more advanced selection methods. Thanks so much for watching this quick snick snippet taken from the Photo Editing and DigiScrap Academy. That's kind of hard to say. If you would like to see more of these short videos, make sure that you hit the pause button and jot these down. We would love for you to join us over at our private Facebook group. So make sure to um, hit that, I think it's join button once you go there. And uh, again, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. Oh, and one more thing, if you hit that share button, you will be eligible for a one month free membership. So if there is a share button down below, some of you may not have that, um, it should be down below. But if you don't have that, um, you're probably already inside of that Facebook private group because I don't think it allows you to share there. So anyway, uh, be sure to share it. And as always, thank you so much for watching our videos. Bye for now.